Hello, mortgage broker community. Uh, we are here today with Mike Cox, uh, partner in Mortgage Nerds, mortgage broker in Wisconsin. We uh, we did a Facebook Live with Mike two weeks ago. Uh, we told everybody we were going to be coming back and, and doing a little bit of a focused um, segment on um, two part segment on his marketing strategy or the marketing strategy at Mortgage Nerds. Uh, they have uh, done some really innovative things that have created a, a really visible brand in their community, re really visible brand, period. Um, they do a great job of keeping it fresh. And uh, I think it's it's going to be eye-opening for all of us that might not um, feel 100% comfortable or might not be uh, doing our marketing um, at a level where we're creating a, a, a strong brand for our company. So, Mike, welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. How are you? Doing good. You've been staying busy? Very busy. Just hired a bunch of people and uh, training them and preparing for the next couple of years. That's awesome. That's great to hear. So, you know, we obviously we talked a little bit before um, on our last segment, we start to get into marketing. Um, before we get into the actual, um, you know, kind of examples of some of the things that you guys do, talk to us a little bit about the strategy and, and the mindset that you guys uh, take when you're kind of approaching uh, marketing and communication. Sure. So what we're, our goal is to be known as the local expert, all things mortgage and real estate. So we have, want to put ourselves in a position when they think of mortgages or they think of real estate, they think of mortgage nerds. That's our goal. But we want to do it in a fun, unique way, right? We want to stand out. Um, so that's, you'll see our, my marketing. It's just it's a quirky, weird, whatever, but it stands out. And when you stand out, people remember you. So the expert, um, that stands out is my goal. Absolutely. And, and, and how did you get started with this? Obviously, there's probably been an evolution and, and everybody, if you don't remember, um, mortgage nerds were part of a retail uh, non-bank lender in Wisconsin for almost uh, over 20 years. Um, so they developed this brand, developed their branch uh, over the course of quite some time. At, at what point did you guys start focusing on the development of this brand and, and, and on this uh, strategy? So about five years ago, I'm building out the Facebook page. Did a lot of stuff before that, but Facebook has obviously evolved so much since then. Um, we actually started concentrating on our business Facebook page at a necessity because we kept getting kicked off Craigslist. <laughs> Man, we would get so many leads off of Craigslist. We'd take the house, you'll see here, um, we the same strategy. We'd take uh, realtors listings, put it out there with a the financing twist. We got tons of leads. Our competitors, realtors, whoever kept flagging us and we kept getting kicked off. Tried everything, started on Facebook because what we weren't getting kicked off and it just kind of took off over time. This is a long strategy. This is, there's no immediate results in this kind of stuff. I mean, you can, now with boosts, it can help, but it's a long strategy. And it's, it's really, it's, it, I think that's one of the things when people think about marketing and, and, and the lead acquisition or, or customer acquisition, they think of this as like, I'm doing this strictly to generate leads. But the truth is like investing in the brand, you guys are now known. Like, I mean, at this point, like it's not just how many people click or how many people come to you through the ad. It's also like you've created this brand where you're just known, people think of you. Yeah, we ask everybody, every application, how'd you hear about us? And uh, most common is either my realtor told me about you or my realtor and I see you on Facebook or Facebook or I see you everywhere. <laughs> you know, I see you everywhere is my favorite. So <laughs> that's awesome. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show uh, I'm gonna, we have a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of the things that you guys have done uh, to share with everybody. I'm going to share this first one. Now let's go ahead and let's get. All right. So talk to us a little bit about this. Um, this post that you guys did here, uh, looks like you did it uh, in March. Yeah, March 19th. That was the update on what was going on in the industry. Um, that's my partner, Brian. Him and I, we just sit down. There's no script, no nothing. We both know mortgages inside and out, so it's pretty easy to talk about what we know. Um, the point of this slide is really just videos. We do a ton of videos. We've been doing them for a long period of time. Um, this video actually got 55,000 views. Um, and the other videos that we have on there have over 15,000 views. So our videos get seen quite a bit, but if that's all you had on your page, it would be pretty boring. So the point is to get them to our page so they see these videos 
So we have other strategies to do that, but these are the um, have great impact on our page and position us as the experts. So basically you guys uh, did a, a video sit down. You essentially just kind of gave the market the, you know, this is what's going on from an unemployment standpoint. Like you, you kind of just gave them the same thing that Barry Habib does. Yeah. And it was a 20 minute long video and we had a lot of people watch it all the way through because it was important information. There was a lot going on right at that time. Again, if we went to did anything, if we didn't do a video, is your local expert, you know, quiet? No, you got to do, you have to be out there. Every, every time there's a change, you got to be out there. Now I'm not the best at that right now because things have changed so fast sometimes by the time I do a video, it's, it's already changed. But that's the importance is like when things change, get a video, get it out there and get in front of your um, local community. How, how are you? So from a standpoint of, was this a Facebook live or pre-recorded video? That was a pre-recorded video. I believe in marketing and video so much. I have a video guy on staff. Okay. And, and as far as the, uh, the copy, is that, do you, do you do all that yourself or you have somebody on the team, team that does that? He does. If you, if you look, he does a very generic ones and then I go in and edit it and do all that fun stuff. Um, so if I didn't get a chance to edit it, you'll see how he puts it out there. He, he just doesn't, he doesn't know mortgage industry. That's, that's the biggest difference in our marketing. I know the mortgage industry and I have a passion for marketing. So there's little, little things that stand out where if you hired a company that doesn't know market or doesn't know mortgages, you just won't get the same result. Yeah. The subject matter part of it is a big, big deal. I'm going to pull up, um, your listings uh, that you guys did some uh, did some work on here next. So this is a creative way to engage with your real estate agent. So let's pull that up. So tell us a little bit about um, this. So same strategy as Zillow. They take um, the sexy listing from the realtor for free, put it on their page and uh, monetize it. Well, we're not actually monetizing it, but we get actual leads for, um, on the on the listing. So that's the benefit for, to us. But this is a listing that we put out a couple of years ago, and I put it on there just because it went viral. Had 2,500 shares and 1,600 wow. comments on this uh, listing. And the only thing we did on this listing to make it different is we put the um, the pool as the first picture. So it's the thing that stood out where I guess realtors can't do that. They have to have the first picture be the actual house. Okay. By putting it on our page, we can, you know, we're not set to those rules. So we put the pool first and it just blew up. This is not common, but it's pretty cool. Very yeah. cool. But we use listings on our page for great content, value add to our um, business partners. Um, and we have lots of realtors we work with. So a realtor can only put their listings on their page we're putting multiple realtors on our page. So we're creating this environment. People just come to our page to look at homes. And do your realtors have any issues with you um, sort of marketing for, you know, different real estate agents? No, here's why you can see on this one, this is one that's up right now. They're tagged in it. They have their contact information. We have a link to their website sometimes. Um, and if you go to the next one, uh, the next slide, it'll show you the comments they're getting leads out of there all the time. So what do they care? Um, so right there, there's two leads where they say, I want more information. And this one personally, I got a direct message that they wanted info. So I sent it over. And you have people tagging other people as well. Yep, now, now I have a strategy that I coach the uh, realtors as well on how to handle that. Like when it's a husband wife thing, I'm like, you know, make fun of the husband. Come on, Steve, buy your wife a house. You know, you gotta stand out and be funny and post pictures and gifts and all that kind of stuff to truly engage. Cause when you're scrolling through Facebook and you see 20 comments or 50 or 60 comments, you stop and you look, if it's, it's one comment, you don't, there's nothing, right? You're just going to keep going. So we try to engage with people to get a lot of comments. So they stop and pay attention. Now, go ahead. No, go, go ahead. We never ever go. Would you like to get pre-approved? Hey, we do financing. That's, that's not what this is about. This is a value add to the realtor. Once the realtor gets a hold of them, maybe shows them one house or talks to them, they push them back to us because that's our business partner. I know 100% of the time it's coming back to us. Just like they know when there's a lead that comes off their listing, it goes back to them. Yeah. And it just kind of makes sense if you really think about it, like well, what, what's going to attract that person. They're attracted to the house. They're attracted to the pool. 
once you start talking mortgage financing, it's like that's kind of that becomes like, oh, like yeah, the last, yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they don't, they don't, they, they, they're not hooked yet. So, I mean, the house is really the emotional part of this. So yeah, it's, it's a really effective strategy. Um, so let me just pull up, uh, let's just go into the memes because you guys do do, uh, actually the gifts. So this is something you guys do a great job at. It's probably the first time I've seen a broker or a loan originator focus on this. And quality might not be that easy for everybody to see. But basically, um, what the mortgage nerds do is, you know, you guys created all of your own, you know, line of memes and gifts. Yeah. So we have hundreds of gifts. We shoot them every week. We're building the library. And um, you can't see it here, but these are high quality gifts, 4K. So when they do come through, they're crystal like happy birthday i sent that to a realtor the other day and he said nobody's sent me anything this cool it just stands out first gifts are cool in general but when it's you doing it for them it's like over the top and then the realtors are like i want these in my life i need these how do i get these let's come sit down and have my marketing talk you know realtors that are all in with us um we'll do some gifts for with them I'm going to share in in the comments on this thread. I'm going to be I'm going to share some of the gifts that you made a gift for me. Um, I'm going to share some of those with everybody so you can get an example. And and the thing is, like people get really overwhelmed with this, but I mean, you made this studio. This studio is something you guys put together. I mean, I'm sure you spent some money on it, but this was just a part of your office you built out, correct? Yeah, it's just our lobby, and it has the cool sign there, so it makes it nice and easy. Um, yeah, it makes a huge impact. It's a short little video that's edited properly and then upload it into a website. It's not that hard. Um, but the way I do is if I'm gonna um, send a gift to somebody and we don't have it, I write it down. So the next week I know which ones I gotta shoot. Um, now like clear to close, that's super fun. Or let's get you pre-approved with your realtor. We have that one. So on Facebook, you can search mortgage nerds and then you'll see all of our gifts are going oh. to them. What's that? I, I, I was looking up brokers are better uh, on gifts yesterday and you guys have like probably like a couple dozen of them in there as well. Yeah. So now I just started another page called brokers are better with the one I made for you on it. And what I'm going to do is make unbranded gifts with the brokers are better shirt on for everybody to use until they want to make the leap and make their own. I, I, I honestly, it's it, it, the crazy thing is you've done all this in a short period of time. You guys just became brokers and you redid everything with the brokers are better t-shirts and the, I love mortgages shirts on. Um, so tell us a little bit about this. Uh, is this a meme? Yeah, it's a meme. And you guys, so everybody, biggest thing people say about marketing is like, I don't know what to say, or I don't have content. I could give you lists and lists of things to do and say that'll keep you busy all year. You go on Pinterest and look up mortgage memes. There's hundreds make your own, you know, strategically look at each one, see how many different pictures you need to take, have a photographer come in or whatever, a friend with your iPhone. You can make these on your phone and make your own. This is Pam. This is a loan officer. And people, I tag her in it and, you know, her realtors laugh and then they share it. Just there's a, a term called stand on the shoulders of giants. Take somebody else's thing, make it your own, make it better and use it. Yeah, I think I think that's actually something we, we started to touch on uh, our last conversation was, you know, you put yourself out there, you're building the mortgage nurse brand, you're looking to, you know, obviously uh, establish your brand in the state of Wisconsin. You know, anybody can look at this and do similar things like it's, you know, to me, it's applying it to their business. It's really just comes down to, you know, kind of taking in the same breath that you do, which is being consistent and applying it across all communications. Yeah. And then if you're if you do it right and you have a photographer come in because you don't have one on staff. Like that one you showed of Scott there, you could reuse that same image over and over looking for a USDA loan, need VA financing, whatever it is. That's a that's a post, right? Over and over and over again. So uh, I'm going to run through some. We have uh, we have a bunch more of these. So I'm going to run through these. Yeah. Let's uh, as I go through them, just, you know, tell us uh, the strategy and tell us what the success was. So a lot of times, well, when you build your page, you want a certain audience, right? I found tag A is a great strategy. That was tag a firefighter because um, I wanted firefighters on there because we were offering a special financing program for them. And I was I said tag a firefighter and then I was giving away dinner for the whole um, fire station. So I don't know how many 
lots and lots of reactions and messages, shares, all that kind of stuff. It kind of blew up. Yeah, yeah. 1,200 reactions on this, 1,200 reactions, 11,000 people were reached. I mean, it, it doesn't show, does it show comments? I guess that's part of the reaction. 126 comments. That's, that's, I mean, that's a really strong post. And it took me, I did that post at midnight. On, there's an app called Over, O-V-E-R. It is my favorite thing ever. Um, as long as you take your logos and put them in there, PN, uh, PNG images, they're just images with no background. You can make the coolest things that in a couple of minutes that looks like you had a designer do it. I made that in a couple of minutes, posted it, went, went to sleep, woke up, and it blew up. Because it's, was, it's so basic. Yeah, yep. But now think of it, tag a renter and give away something renter TV, you know, give away a 30-inch TV, tag a renter um, that you think could use it. Boom, you're building an audience that you want to talk to anyway. Everybody so, loves participating in those types of uh, giveaways. Yep. So giveaway stuff. We run contests all the time. You'll see some examples. Um, I just some lady just came here and picked up a hundred dollars worth of gift cards be, um, for Friday fish night. Who has the best fish? We drew a random drawer. She came in. Um, yeah. Wow. Look at this. You had 125 shares on that post. Now that's really impressive. Yep. Because we're trying to help our local community firefighters. Who doesn't want to get behind that? Everybody does. Right. First, think about it. First responders right now, nurses, doctors, like that's, I mean, everybody wants to support them. All day, every day. I'd be doing this over and over and over again. Um, you could build up, then you'd have a bunch of people on your page that you know are nurses or doctors. And, you know, when everything settles down, if you have a doctor's loan, guess what? When you promote that, you're going to have a great um, reaction to that because you're, they're part of your audience. And you're doing this all from your business page. So you have an unlimited number of people that can follow you. That's the important thing, right? Right. And here's the other cool thing. When I mentioned, you know, taking a uh, stand on the shoulders of giants, believe me, a lot of this is original stuff, but I steal stuff all the time. Um, and I take it from people because it's on their personal page and I put it on my business page. They don't even know I took it because they don't follow my business page. They would on my personal, right? So it's another advantage when you're taking content from someplace else. It, tell, it, us, tell us about this one. So any opportunity you can to pull in your local um, businesses, your lo anything in your local community to, to support them. This was uh, to go bingo. So these are all local businesses with their phone number, trying to um, you know support them and have them have people just order to go um, during this time. So it's pretty straightforward, really quick and easy. And then we tagged all the businesses in this post. And then almost all of them shared that post. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, so do you like, when it comes to the businesses, how do you engage with them when you're, when you're going about this? Is it just organic, you know, you're a customer of theirs and you, you communicate with the owner of the business or is it something that you uh, just kind of do without bringing them in the loop? Um, so both some of these people I know, and then um, just friends of mine, other people I don't even know, um, but they're part of the local community. So I don't care. I'm just trying to help them out. Um, give them some exposure. Uh, it's never a bad thing to help other people out. Um, but sometimes if I'm not doing that many, I would just reach out to them personally and say, Hey, I'm a, I want to promote you on my Facebook page. Do you have a, you know, a coupon or something that we could offer the audience specific to this post? They give you like 25% off or whatever it is. And then you can do a huge promotion around them. It's awesome. How how do, how often do you post? We're looking at your uh, on Fridays. We are we wear red. Um, how often are you posting? So like for this one though, I made that again in two minutes on my phone, and I just schedule it to post every single Friday. So it posts by itself. How often uh, am I posting? Several times a day because of the listings. The listings are the magic people. You know, Realtor.com, Zillow. And your realtors love it because they're getting leads if you do it consistently and boost the post. Um, they are the magic. But then all this other stuff keeps people around it and creates a whole environment. So several times a day, but you can schedule them out. And, and are you – so how far ahead are you scheduling things out? Just a few days. So I get final say in all of our um, marketing stuff. So I block one day, Wednesdays, every week. My uh, video guy comes in, we plan out the whole next week, what we're, what's gonna go out, how it's gonna um, be posted, everything. So it's done for the week. And then I shoot all my videos on that day. And that's it. And then I, 20 minutes every other day.
Right, now I'm looking at this. It looks like your Christmas card. Are you guys really this this happy and this much fun, or is this a? For sure. <laughs> no, we have a great group, but we love to have fun. There was some wine involved in this. It was at my house. We just. <laughs> This is the only print I would ever do as a Christmas card. And we do crazy off the wall Christmas cards. But this one was designed to engage with past clients. So when our your past client texts you, Merry Christmas, then we had three different gifts, two small videos of us singing really bad Christmas carols that we'd send back to them and just start a conversation. Um, again, connecting with your past client in a way that nobody else will ever, ever do. Um, customer for life absolutely this this is the true the, this is the true customer for life and honestly i know i know some of this stuff like people look at it and they think it's it's overwhelming but like you said you're doing this on you said the over app i mean these are these, you you weren't trained in this this is something that you sort of trained yourself on absolutely i i failed in a lot of areas you'll go on my facebook page right now and look some of the posts there's one like i won't do that type of post again I'm, i learned from it then there's some with 80 likes and 120 comments. You just got to keep going. You'll figure it out. Go on and just give everybody a little bit of a view of what you guys have been doing most recently. Sure. Oh, and I, yeah, I just started a whole new theme uh, with the uh, Bigfoot. Uh, so you can see, by the way, anybody can steal anything off here. I don't care. Um, do whatever you want. But you can find anything or, you know, look for a best VA loan, contact Brian. He can find anything. This is the uh, most recent one that you did uh, with Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, how do you come up with this? I'm, I don't know, man. <laughs> My mind is warped. It's phenomenal. It really is. I mean, I, I honestly, like the fact that you're, you're so open and say, Hey, listen, like you could steal this and I'm not going to call you like a thief. Like I'm, I'm trying to help everybody. Oh yeah. That's the sharing mentality. Um, but yeah, I mean, this content again, it's, it, it, it's, it's super, it's super simple and it's, it is outside the box. It obviously gets the engagement. Um, but you know, it, it really is. It's a long game because it's, it's not just, Hey, I, I got to come up with a one hit. It's, it's the consistency of doing it daily or, and weekly. Yeah. And just take a day and plan it out. It makes it a lot easier. Like, look at that jelly beans in a jar, 98 comments. Yeah, I mean, you would never expect that. Nope. So, um, are there uh, here? Here's an example of the gifts. So you guys basically are building all these out weekly. Yeah, every Wednesday we shoot two or three. Yeah. Is there any tips or pointers that you would have for everybody as we kind of uh, you know look through this? Like, where do you get started? Like, if if somebody's saying, "Hey, I don't have a videographer, I don't have a photographer," what, what what's a, a simple Hey, this is how you can get started without going and hiring anybody, just doing it on your downtime. Well, I think first of all, you need a, a mental shift. I look at it like this. Um, I'm a marketing company that sells mortgages. That's truly the way I look at things. So that's why I concentrate on marketing so much. And I know how powerful it is. I think a lot of people think they have to market, you know, it's like the fifth thing on their list or 10th thing. Make it number one, make it a priority you'll start learning it and you'll have success. But I will say like for an easy thing is just forward thinking, hire a photographer, take a, you know, 150 different photos and different outfits and different angles, have them cut out just your face or, you know, half your body or whatever. Then with that over app, you can drop your face on somebody else's face. That's already something done. Boom. You got content for days. It's super easy stuff. It really is. It's not, and like this is the kind of stuff where anybody could do this. This is this is it's, so basic. I, I had a thing on cheese curds the other day. It's hundreds and hundreds of comments. Just be consistent. Constantly be putting good stuff out there. Like right now, what is there to do in your community? Research it. Put it out there. Um, put ten, fifteen dollars behind it. Boost it out there. Um, now the other thing that we did do is I don't allow my loan officers to have their own business page we fully focus all energy in one spot. Now that's a little bit different too, because it's a, it's a, it's, 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 it is a good strategy though, as a business, like that's how you put all of your energy as a team and building one brand. Right. Because it's consistent. That's how you build a brand. There's consistency. And I know it's done right. Where right now they're inundated with, you know, tons of mortgages. They wouldn't be posting anything on their page right now, but I do. So 
and collectively you're putting all your basically everybody's driving all their customers to one spot versus five different spots or eight different spots that are not being maintained at the level that this is being maintained. Exactly. I just deleted my mortgage nerds Milwaukee page because I wasn't maintaining that one and I didn't want to confuse people. Um, but yes, you have to control the, you know, what's being put out there as well. Absolutely. Now, they can, you know, share anything to their personal page. I encourage them to do that. How, how long did you see, did it take you to really get to the point where a, you had a, a nice, a solid following and, but more or less like from an engagement or seeing results, you start to see the development of like people tagging people, people sharing things. Was that a, you know, a multi-year um, process? Yeah, I'd say about year two. Um, but there's other values too. So it's going to be so much faster now. Back in the day, you couldn't boost. You know, there's so many, so much more you can do now. And if you get to like lead gen, we won't even get into that because that's complex. But there's way more features in Facebook now, which would expedite that process. But it was a couple years for me. But the other thing I was doing is providing value to my realtors, right? And by the way, there's no realtor I know that has a page even close to ours. So they're like, heck yes, take my listings and run with it. And look at this. Like you're, So you posted this. This is obviously a little bit ago, but you posted this. And I'm looking at one of the comments. Could you please send me more information about this house, please? You know, like that if you're if you are as a mortgage partner to a real estate agent, a promoting their product, which is the selling of these houses, but also like literally that that's a lead. That's a buyer. You know, what I mean, like, like, is there anything more valuable than producing that on some type of regular basis for a real estate agent? Yeah. And what you'll see a lot of times in the summer is people the realtor and the client setting up a showing right in the comments. I love it. And you just see more and more of it. It's actually really impressive. I haven't seen this type of engagement on, on one of these listing posts. I think it's a combination of making sure that you do good, you do good copy. And like you said, you coach your real estate agents to actually participate and share. Oh yeah. I have a whole list on how to do it. If you scroll back up, there's also a strategy on what, the text I have there on, on that same listing. Oh, gotcha. Uh, the cutoff just so happens to be um, before you hit see more, you have Pam's name and phone number before it cuts ah. off. So you always see that part. Plus, gotcha. so Normally the cutoff would be at the end of that number. Right, right. And so the other thing is we are putting our financing twist on it. Like sometimes I don't want that house, but you can buy a house with low money down. What does that mean? I'm calling Pam. Every realtor just shows the house. I don't like that bathroom. Next, right? There should be a finance spin. Like I, we have financing signs too. This house qualifies for low money down. Do you? So as far as boosting like a post like this, what kind of money would you put behind? Like, is there a, a set amount that you're putting behind it or is there more that you put behind certain houses? Yeah, but higher price point, I'll put more money. That was 250. I would definitely start with $25 within um, a 20 mile radius of that house. Um, and I do that for probably three or four days. And then if they have an open house, I would do a new listing, um, let that one go, do a new listing and probably do another $25 and run it for two days prior to the open house. And uh, just, you know, to push people there. And we'll, and we have people show up at open houses and the realtors ask, how'd you hear about us? And they say mortgage nerds. That's awesome. So ha from a, like, as far as your reviews and reputation management, where are you directing your clients when you close on a transaction? Um, Google my business and Facebook. I wholeheartedly believe that's the only way to do it. Cause you build them up. They're always there. The other um, platforms out there are nice. If you're not going to take the time and energy to do Go, you know, get um, Google and Facebook ones on your own because they're more automated. Um, yeah, it's been a big thing for us, our recommendations and our five-star reviews. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, but Mike, you know, knowing what you know, obviously you in interact with a lot of loan officers. You're in a lot of different social groups um, and obviously a big part of the Brokers Are Better Facebook group. What, what, what recommendations would you have to somebody that's looking at this saying, I want to do that haven't done anything like this yet, don't know where to start. And obviously you talked about mindset, but uh, just, you know, what would be one takeaway for them? Well, I would say go to my page and copy as much as you can, start writing down some ideas and do one post every single day for 30 days. 
All right. After 30 days, I mean, the posts don't have to be great, you know, whatever. Like I said, steal anything off of here, but for 30 days and then see what results you get. Like me, I get adrenaline rush when I like do a post. I get all those people and I get leads and I get to call my realtor and say, no, here you go. Like it's the best thing ever for me. So that's what drives me to do it. After 30 days, they will have that same experience and it will drive them for the rest of their career. But how appreciative are your realtors about you doing this for them? A lot because they don't use any other mortgage lender. They send us 100% of their deals. They don't, and nobody else around here even comes close to the marketing that we do because nobody takes the time and energy to do it. All they say is we do great at mortgages. Well, you better. Yeah, that's the baseline. I mean, that's that's what everybody sales pitches. I have low rates. I provide good service, blah, blah, blah. Like that's that's the mortgage shtick. But what do you do for the real estate agent? What do you do You know, for the partnership? That, that's the value add. So when pe newbies that say, well, I want to do coffee with a realtor, I say, no, go study how to do face master Facebook and then have value that you can bring to them. That's a better way to start that relationship than what can you give me? It's here's what I can give you. And are you doing anything? Is, is Facebook your primary focus? Or are you doing other social platforms as well? Facebook, I really need to get into Instagram and everything else. I, TikTok looks like I you know should be over there as well. But I'm just all in with Facebook. I noticed you have a picture behind you. Uh, you, you noticed that? What, what is that behind your, your right shoulder? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's too good. Too good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right. Well, Mike Cox, Mortgage Nerds, I know you guys are busy. You're hiring. You're busy uh, managing your, your relationships and new deals, and you're, you're busy as can be. So I appreciate you giving the community You know, this last 35 minutes. I know they appreciate you guys uh, giving us this time as well. It's extremely impactful, and I, and I hope to see uh, many of the brokers in the group do exactly as Mike said, steal. Go to the website, just look at what they're doing. If you need ideas for content, you know, do something similar. Try over uh, the over app um, that he recommended. But um, there's no time uh, like now to get started. It all starts with one post a day for 30 days. Yep. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Uh, tell the team uh, we appreciate them giving you up to us uh, these last couple of days, this, this time and a couple of weeks ago. No problem. Will do. Thanks. Thanks, brother.